Wark. I'm sorry. You know what? Ah! Oh my god! What? <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? You first dissed the bill that I, and Bill. You were second running, but I'm sorry. Um, and and now you did you. Com you compound your double whammy with by saying Eric is your bad thing. He, what a, what did he do this episode besides kidnap Suki? <laughs> no, he looked good. Double were, crosser again. He looked good. He really did. He looked good. Just what about him looks so good in this episode? Okay, I mean he was naked and looked really good a couple episodes ago, and you didn't pick him then. No, no, no. But it's not about the naked. It's not about. I mean, it's it's. What is it about? It's, Him being a nasty. It's the look. It's the jerk. it's the glint in the eye, and sometimes the faint scent of lavender. I guess I better brush up on my foreign languages. <laughs> no, there were there were just some moments where he just was very. He was very sexy. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! But we Pam. Pam, oh Pam. my Jesus, your your name, I had to write it down so I could remember it. It is Pam. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I have, to, I have to say this clearly so that everyone can can understand this because nobody can understand this. When, okay. Eric, when Eric was leaving his will, <laughs> he revealed Pam's full name, which is Sugar La Beaufort. <laughs> Don't make me repeat it, but that's what it was. No, and I like that Pam revealed that um, Eric's childhood home was a windy shithole. <laughs> which was my nickname in college. Oh, that farm. What about um, Mary? You go, girl. When <laughs> Jesus... <laughs> the, Mary, Mary's actually going. She's like doing her cabbage patch or whatever. Yeah, I sure. like when Arlene said, I may be skinny, but at least I ain't evil. Once evil, always evil. I like when... Um, Sam said to Holly, um, you got anything that works for nosiness and bad boundaries? <laughs> <laughs> they got some mad riders there in True Blood. Mm. Bon Tom. They got like they Bruce, got, Bruce they, Melanche is hanging out in Merlots just <laughs> writing snappy one-liners. They got, they got the writing team from the Jeffersons on for this episode. Oh, what about the, um, I have two things I don't let people do in my bar. It's dancing and religion. Or or I don't have I have two things I don't let people do talk about I have two things that I don't have people do in my bar religion stuff and dancing thing dancing like crazy look at me I'm you know what I'm crazy <laughs> oh and then and Lafayette said um, about Crystal and Calvin them fuckers is a whole new dimension of trash. Oh my god. <laughs> and glyph 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 Nanny McFeenigan. Quit these shenanigan nanigans. <laughs> Nanny McFeenigan. Banana shenanigan. Nana Nan Flanagan's banana flan shenanigans. Nan Flanagan's banana flan shenanigans. Bullfart. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. 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 All right, Wolfbag. This oh. week. My god. This week's question is from Susan Whitley. If you, Andy and Brian, Oh. I know them. I think I know them. Lived in Bonton. What sort of job would you have? Personally, I see Andy in Merlot's uniform and Brian as a sheriff deputy. Um, Andy, what would you do if you worked in uh, Bonton? Let me tell you, if there was no wicks and sticks, I'd have to open my own little store, Crafting 101, because they need help with their scrapbooks. They do. They we really do. know that. There you was only like, w like heart stickers available. And she probably had to order those online. So they need some help down there. But what if there were a Wicks and Sticks? Would you work at the Wicks and Sticks? 
in the um, mall? Is there a mall in Bonjour? I may, uh, I don't know. I don't know. We do. Hopefully, there must be a shopping center because there's got to be a Starbucks and McDonald's. There is no Starbucks in Bonjour. It's probably just like a cement strip with like stores lined up back to back. A strip like, mall. Like off the hot highway. A strip. A strip mall. Yes. Is there a Wix and Sticks at them. a strip mall though? There can be. They're like a cart usually in the mall, like in the hallway. That is true. I've never seen something larger than a cart. <laughs> I find it really interesting that you think I would be in law enforcement, because I... I just... not. That's not my style. You look good in a, a uniform. Stop it. I, I would be more like... Either... I'd be like the guy that sold Christmas trees. Like... Oh. Um... Like a wedding, <laughs> wedding videographer, maybe uh, a bartender, hanging billboards. I would, I would what? sell myself for medical research. Fruit stand. <gasps> I worked at a fruit stand. I could help you. I could tell you all. I could tell you how much the apples were. Macintosh, Granny Smith, Fuji. <laughs> Pick one. So, Susan, thank you for your question. Um, Susan, we love you. We love you, Susan. Thanks. And uh, send uh, email buzzacampblood.org, and we'll send you a little prize pack. And actually, we have been putting together the prize packs for the first nine weeks, which are uh, on the way as of this week. And they've got a soundtrack, I've got blisters, bumper stickers, and magnets, and postcards. And we'll probably put a couple cat hairs in there, whether we want to or not. But um, <laughs> if you want, if you want to be considered for next week's wolf bag, you can either leave your question in the uh, comments comments on the blog. the blog post, or you can tweet us at Camp Blood Buzz or, or at Andy, Andy Swiss, Swiss. and uh, we may read your question next week. There's only two weeks left. I can't take it. Oh, Mark. So, Andy, what would you rate this episode? One to ten, Grace Joneses. Hmm. Nine. I loved it. I got to learn Pam's last name, and I'm never gonna forget. Sugar to Bullfart. <laughs> sugar la de, sugar da Bullfart. <laughs> and I'm never gonna forget it. Crazy Russell again. I'm loving. And, it. and that kid was from Nine Until One Now. Yeah. Oh. Mini Talbot. Yeah, I was like Mini. Ooh, that was sad. That was that was that was just a little too weird. Bill, I'm still I'm still I'm still holding out for you, girl. Yeah, I was gonna I'm, say I'm they still... might they just may have turned him into a rat. I mean, you don't care. But I I don't know that yet. It's all up in the air still. So I'm still gonna keep hold, hold my torch up um, until it gets blown out. Anyway, uh, and I like the whole roller coaster action with the the V trip. Lafayette and Jesus and I like I really love Jessica and she was amazing and the whole Arlene thing and Terry and Sam was amazing I that was a whole new facet of the, that character that was just like revealed and, and it was just like I got a lot of what I wanted I would give it this episode a nine unlike last episode which I felt was kind of treading water on a lot of the storylines this episode delivered on almost every single episode and pushed things forward and we're going into the final stretch so this is exactly what they needed to do so while it didn't have any of the we will eat your children moments of the previous episode oh. it had across the board development which is what i really like but yet we still had really fun moments like lafayette and jesus doing basically my my life in the 90s i like when jason found crystal as a panther in the bedroom he's like oh he went, do you remember what he said? No. Mama. Oh, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> Mama. That's right. That was a turn on for him. Oh, well, I, but yeah. at any rate, it was a turn on for me too, because finally we can stop pussyfooting <laughs> around the whole hotshot deal. Can you remember last season? At this point, we were so pissed. They were goddamn Marianne <laughs> laying an egg on us. <laughs> we are in such a much better place now this season. Mm -hmm. and looking forward to it. And I just, I just don't want it to end. Oh. But unfortunately, the show has to come to an end. So that's it for this week of blood work. We will be back next week. Um, to recap next week's episode. And in the Good meantime, job. check out campblood.org. Check out andyswiss.com. The Russell doll is up this week. The Russell doll is up and running with, with your underwear contributions. Your underwear and your underwear. And we'll be back next week. Bye. Bye.
Mark.